What's up, everybody? This is Sancho West, and you are staying tuned to another episode of Sir Daniel's Quest for Black Belt. Ah, give me that Black Belt. As you saw in episode one, I'm hopped back into PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, and I'm here competing for that Black Belt, that elusive Black Belt for Sir Daniel. Now, I know there's probably Sir Daniel Black Belts out there, but there's none of them on YouTube showing you how they did it to get it from all the way from that no belt, rope belt, all the way to Black Belt, and... As you see here, I still don't have my black belt. This is episode two. If you want to stay in tune for the entire series, please subscribe, like button, comment, share, whatever you got to do just to get me some, some help because Sir Daniel needs your support to get that black belt. This is not going to be a good matchup for Sir Daniel here. I got two Papa the Rappers versus Sweet Tooth in the dojo. Oh, and that, that Papa the Rapper serious. He got his a gi on and everything. But as always, start off with that shield, the shield of justice. The shield of truth, crowd control shield there, and I gotta like to use the hand just to keep everybody at bay. Ooh, boombox. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be a great match right here. I have that feeling. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting back into it. For those of you who don't know, I, I, I'm part of a subreddit that is recently on its not its last legs. I'm not saying that. I'm not speaking for the entire Reddit, but our numbers have diminished thanks to injustice. But I contribute to that that. Reddit and I contributed videos on my YouTube channel. You can see a lot of how to avoid supers and whatnot. So you could, I know I haven't finished that series, but I will. I just need, ooh. That Parappa the Rapper just did what I usually do. Goodness, oh no. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm definitely rusty. Oh man, and I got hit with the slow mo. I got hit with the slow mo. Look at that. And where I'm, now I'm in the sky. I'm up in the air. Coming on down. So what basically with this ooh, get out of here with that sweet tooth action. This whole video series is just me going through the struggles. So you can see the losses, the wins, the the timeouts. You can see it all here, folks. And you get to see my unique style, or I like to think it's unique for Sir Daniel to play. Oh no, another skateboarding dude. Take some of that drink. Oh at least I got two kills from that. I thought. The other one would get that. Mmm. Oh, man. These pop of the rapper skateboard on Tony Hawking all over the place. And it looks like Sweet Tooth timed out. There's two pop of the rappers versus Sir Daniel. Not a lot of good odds here for Sir Daniel, but I will do my best. Ooh. Definitely with that. These pop of the rappers are working me. Just Sir Daniel does not have the foot speed, so to speak, to compete with these Parappa the Rappers. I'm definitely going to use my battle axe to keep these guys at bay. Use my, my projectiles. Something that Parappa Rapper does not have. And I'm getting work still. I don't have a good rhythm in this match. I'm a big believer. If, to be successful in this game, you got to establish a great rhythm. Oh no, not another skateboard. Ugh. Yes, I know. I make a video series how to avoid that. But I said in my disclaimer, I still die. So get over it. Ugh. I'm not this is not a good rhythm me you know you, you got to have some rhythm it just helps you build that meter faster and it helps you give that confidence of throwing out that level one super as I said in the first video it's all about just taking that risk ooh now I'm just getting sloppy I'm getting sloppy in this gameplay sometimes I, I lose focus and oh man I don't even think I got I probably got hopefully I got one kill I wasn't keeping track mmm Mm -hmm. Two kills. Well, you know, what are you gonna do? That was that Parappa rapper just mopped the floor with the skateboard. For those of you who don't know, Parappa rappers players they go for his level two a lot, just because it's it's pretty great. It's a great super. His level one Parappa rappers level one reminds me. It's thrown at that angle. So, but I'm not down with Parappa rapper. I'm down with Sir Daniel, and I oh. Nope, still don't have my belt. Oh well. So this is a series where I'm questing for Sir Daniel's black belt. Because I don't see a lot of Sir Daniel's black belts out there. If you are one, awesome. If you like to leave tips or suggestions or comments, please do. I'm open to them. I'm not one of these. Oh, guess who's on the map? Big Daddy. And this looks like it's going to be a good match. Everyone's level 999, so everyone should have a, a grasp of the characters. And I like this stage for Sir Daniel right here. The uh, Ape Escape stage, 
uh, with the gravity uh, it has platforms and then these little uh, red boxes right here you could throw out your level one and go right through them so that's what I like about this is a good upper advance for Sir Daniel but I'm just I feel like uh, I'm not feeling it today uh, looks like my rhythms a little off um, it's, I could just tell I could just tell but my battle axe gets me at 30 AP. I like to throw that out there. Haha. <laughs> you see that? You see what I did there? I said throw that out there. And I said, whatever. Throw out your battle axe, amigos. Use it. It's a great way. And also his up attack. His up attack is a great way to build meter. I like to use that. Ooh. Speaking of Emo Dante. Now, Sir Daniel players. You should love Sir uh, any kind of player that does aerial combos. And Dante is one of those guys that loves doing aerial combos. And when I see a Dante bust out his little um, uh, AP burst, I sneak up and I throw out my level 2 just because I know I can at least get 2 kills out of that. There's a lot of those instances. And I got my level 2 right now. So right now, ooh, I'm going to try to use this on Kratos. Here we go. Yeah, I think I got you. What? Oh, really, Santa Monica Studios? You patched the one cool thing on this earth. For those of you who don't know, before the patch, or I don't know when, Sir Daniel's level 2 could kill his level 3. That's right. Sir Daniel's hooch, given to the God of War, would get him killed. And it did not work out there. I, I nailed it. I got the timing in, or maybe, maybe I just mistimed it. I don't know. But if they patch that, I'm going to be upset. Because that was something amazing to witness. It's pro it's in my 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 other previous videos that I nailed it. So for those of you who don't know, you could check that out. And I, I'm just not doing well in this match. That that missed opportunity against the level 3 threw me off. And now I took that risk and I'm, I have a big hill to climb. Because my without rhythm, I can't build AP that fast with Sir Daniel because of his foot speed. But I'm going to do my best here. I only got one level 1 in the tank so to speak I throw out that dragon's potion on the floor just to just to cheap oh wow big daddy get it big daddy that was nice nicely played big daddy that guy knows big daddy's limits and he knew that angle right there for that level one but that doesn't help me with my KD ratio because I'm probably over right now at this point I haven't killed anybody I feel like oh wow you see what happens when I'm out of rhythm? You get sloppy and then you push it stupidly and you, you, you run into weird situations. And right now, I'm just going to try to throw it out. Maybe get sneaking a kill. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. But that's the whole point of this series. I'm going to show you the rawness. I'm going to show you me getting O's and fives, And I can't have that for my black belt. But I'm going to show you guys all that. Just to show the struggles that Sir Daniel faces every day. Because he's a, according to the... Analysts, or according to the the uppers peoples up there that he's a low to your character, but I say no Sir Daniel's a boss. He just wants to share the good life and of course we up uh, Thanks Santa Monica Studios. Oh I got a belt green belt. Wow. I built up to green belt already. That's amazing 39 green belt. Wow, that's, that's pretty intense Loco Roco stage probably personally my second favorite my least favorite, second least. What you know? What I'm trying to say. I hate the stage. It's it's bright. It's it's the camera pans out too far, and you know I don't like it. Period. But I do like projectile players like Drakey Drake here. I'm gonna pull out my shield and just hang out with you, Drake. Give me those AP. I have noticed after the patch, uh, the AP you gotta be blocking sometimes, or you gotta be neutral. To build AP, I remember there was an early glitch for Sir Daniel that it used to build AP after you, you would you build AP just getting hit with projectile with Sir Daniel, which was a nice get out of here, Kratos, Kratos, God of War, you got no match for medieval dead knight, Sir Daniel, bread and butter, play out, gotta use the B&B &B arrow just to gauge your opponent's skill, and I'm right now, ooh. AP burst with that crowd control riot shield everybody clear out you know what Drake I'm tired of your barrels your Donkey Kong barrels need to go wow 
You need to go somewhere else. Here I come. Uh, boom. Woo. Try to hand kill propane me. You missed. Get out of here, kitty cat. I'm not a fan of your cuteness. But for a tip for all those Sir Daniel players out there, you want to hang out with projectile players. And not necessarily just, you know, gather up their AP. I want you to... Ugh. I could have thrown out the BMP, but I... I like to do that instead. Oh, man. Mm -mm. Another tip. Pay attention to the other player's super levels because I just wasted level 2 for nothing. Pay attention to that. Mm -mm. Missed opportunity there. Missed opportunity. But I'm going to build my AP back quickly. As I was saying, hang out with projectile players. Not just... Wow. A lot of craziness is happening. Just because you could... um easily build up AP meter just by going through your your game flow or your workflow whatever that that chart they used to talk about in fighting games so just hang it hang out with them and before you know it you got your level two Paya. sometimes I feel like I'm I pick on a, ooh. yeah you gotta throw it out sir Daniel pumping up oh yeah oh really you gotta have to go mm. uh, 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 gotta avoid it you gotta avoid it. Oh, now you gotta come after me. That's not cool. Just because I'm. Mm. As I was saying, sometimes I feel like I pick on other players, but I just don't. I just see the kill, and if you happen to be an easier kill than most, I'm gonna take that. That's a, some free for all advice. Ooh, I whiffed there. Mm hmm. I'm gonna remember that whiff, and I'm gonna keep it in my tech reading logs, and I'm gonna get you next time I put you in my little situation. Give me that. Ah, oh, I missed with the arrow. Missed with the arrow. That's not good. Let's see. Oh, free for all is all about sneaking up and and you know just poaching. To be honest, sometimes you gotta poach and get that kill. I'm trying to get that quick kill. Oh, do not. Did I win? I think I did. No, I didn't. The kitty cat. That one. Ah. That last kill. I probably would have lost because my KD was kind of even, but it's always the last 30 seconds will pretty much determine the winner. It's, it's how you close out the game that really does matter. And I did not close out that game effectively. And I'm, so, ooh, I'm still green belt, though. Yeah. This should be an easy match. I'm, I feel like I'm going to overmatch a lot of the, these players in the beginning because, as you saw, in my first episode, I was a red belt, but, you know, that was after two months of work. I didn't really play that game. Like, I didn't dedicate all my time towards this game, but hopefully if this series takes off, I will continue pushing out these videos of Sir Daniel's Quest for Black Belt. If you like what you see so far, subscribe, please. This is the stage I hate the most. I don't have to explain myself, I just hate it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like sometimes I like picking on somebody and, and seeing if I can gauge them one on one. But Sir Daniel's actually really good in one on one situations if you know how to play as Sir Daniel. But as you saw there, I did not want to deal with that ratchet because he's gonna keep frogging me to death. Some ratchets love that. I'm just gonna build some AP meter. Gonna hang out with with Sack Boy's a great person to contribute to uh, the AP. His cakes are delicious. Sir Daniel loves those cakes. I could have got my, my wall kill right there. What is this Hiachi doing? Ooh. Sackboy as well has that, that kind of angle super, but something's off about this Hiachi. He's hanging out in the poison area. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue to do some work. I'm going to hang out with Sackboy so I can build some AP. Actually, Ratchet and Sackboy are going to be Sir Daniel's friends during this match. And I think, he, oh, really, Hiachi? You're just sitting there building your meter? What is this? What is this foolery? Uh, that's 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 some low stuff. I, whatever. Some people. I, I don't get it. Some people are like that. Great. Go ahead. Build your level three. You Hiachi player. Some players like that. You're gonna find people using exploits to their advantage. And who calls that fun? I don't. I, I if I was that Hiachi player, I don't know how. How is that fun? That's what I want to know. I'll show you what fun is, and that's dominating with a low-tier character, a.k.a. Sir Daniel. Boom! You see that? I read it. I knew. Because the arrow, I know I'm going to miss. 
to be honest. It's not something I expect to hit. It's just I want the other player to react to what I'm doing. So, ooh. Yakum cookies. Yum, 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 yum. We got to throw it out. Pain and simple. Like I was saying, I don't expect that arrow to hit. That arrow is just to make the other person do something. So as soon as they react to that arrow, I could hit them with my level one. As you saw there before I got the cookies. Mm, mm, mm. During this part as well, I like to use for my advantage. Sometimes people don't pay attention. And, you know, they get on a platform above waiting for the answer. And I hit them with my level one from below. Uh, it's, it's a great tactic and it's fun to pull out. Uh, one, boom! This is a good match. I'm racking up that level one kills. I, sometimes I feel like my best matches are just me um, just racking up those. Ooh, why did I do that? Just racking up my level one kills. It's easy to build to, and uh, Sir Daniel, he could be he could be very dominant in one match with that level one, especially if I'm if I'm in rhythm, if I'm feeling the rhythm, if I'm feeling the rhyme. There's no there's no holding down Sir Daniel's level one man. Boom 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 boom. So right now I'm I'm winning, so I'm kind of just laying low, seeing what else I could get and get this kill right here. Give it to me. Bye. Oh, you son of a bitch. Clever, clever, Hiachi, but I still got the W. Drink, 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 drink. Everybody, do a little dance, get a little drink, do a little dance. Four and two, not bad. So that clue concludes episode two of this quest for Black Belt. Please subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm going all the way to Black Belt. If it kills me or not, if you like what you see, hit that like button and share. Thank you guys for tuning in this episode. Stay tuned for episode three. Quest for Black Belt. Sir Daniel. Ooh, yeah.